Hi, my name is Julian Challenger and this short instructional video will show you how to report across more than one subject area. I'm going to start the report in the worker assignment real time and I'm going to pull in the worker's name, their person number and then I'm also going to pull in their job and location and finally I'm going to pull in their headcount. So as always with OTBI reports it's best to build them up one piece at a time so first thing we'll do is just check this runs okay. And yes, that looks fine. Okay, so what we're going to do now is close that one. Let's pull in a another subject area. So for this one, I'm going to pull in the salary. So I'm going to add salary details to this report now. So the simplest thing I could do here is add in the salary. So I'm in this case going to pull in annualized salary and we are now reporting across two subject areas. <coughs> um, the first thing you can see is that that's worked fine. We have a list of workers, we have the annualized salary, and that is because what we have done so far is that we have used data from folders that appears in both subject areas because the compensation salary details real time also includes the worker folder, the job folder, and the location folder. So this is completely valid. And OTBI has no problems joining a measure from each of those folders. Now, for example, say we want to now pull in something from the person subject area. So this one. So again, person has the worker dimension, but it does not, or the worker folder, but it does not have the job and location. So it's it, what is, what's going to happen is that it's going to have a problem joining whatever I pull in from person into this query. So the first thing to remember when you're reporting across multiple subject areas is to always include a measure from every single subject area even if you don't want that measure to appear in the report. So in this case, we're going to simply hide this one. We have to include it in the report for the cross subject area, remember, but we don't want it to appear. But what we do want to do here is we want to report by ethnicity. So we're going to pull ethnicity in. Now ethnicity only appears in the person subject area. Job and location only appear in the other two. So before we can get this working, well, let's just try and see what happens if we run this now. Yeah, so it, it's, it's, it's complaining. It's saying, OK, I don't know how to join ethnicity with annualized salary for starters. I don't know how to join ethnicity to headcount. And I don't know how to join person number with job or location. So. The last part of the puzzle here is this dimensionality checkbox here. We can click that and that allows us to report across subject areas using folders that don't necessarily appear in all subject areas. Notice I also then um, applied the SQL and cleared the message. So now when we check the results, The report went, runs. So you can see here we do have salary and we have headcount and we have ethnicity where it's available. So obviously from here we can produce a much more sophisticated report comparing ethnicity and salary by location and so on. But hopefully you get the idea. This report was pretty easy to create. The, the important thing to remember is always pull in a measure from every subject area and 
if you're going to include folders that don't exist in every single subject area, excluding the measure folders, then you must uh, check the enable dimensionality, this checkbox, and then apply the SQL. Anyway, I hope that's been useful to you, and thanks for listening.